Assalamualaikum student. Um, I will explain on the topic project scope management. Okay, so what is scope? Scope is defined as a features uh, and function of a product or the scope of work need to finish the project. Okay, so that is scope lah. Okay, so scope involve uh, information required to start the project. Yeah, and features the product will have uh, would meet its stakeholder needs lah. Yeah, meaning that we need to have the make sure we uh, follow the scope. Yeah, and achieve the scope in order to fulfill the requirement of the stakeholder. Yeah. Okay, so that is the introduction eh, for the project scope management. So you have to know what is the uh, what is the meaning of the scope in project management. All right. Okay, so now I will straight away go to uh, slide presentation. I will share my screen now. Okay. 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 So project scope management, yeah. Okay. So this is the content, yeah, uh, of the lecture, yeah, for the project scope management. All right. So I will explain one by one. Okay. All right. So for the definition of uh. Uh, project scope management, yeah, to ensure, yeah, uh, the project address all of the work required, and the only work that required to complete the project to make sure the project complete successfully. Okay, and then the understanding. Uh, the complete understanding and management exactly what is and what is not to be delivered uh, within the project. So you have to make sure uh, you know what, what is necessary and what is not necessary um, uh, to be delivered for your project. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this one is the uh, project scope management process. So it involves uh, two phases of uh, uh, project life cycle. Yeah, first one is in the planning stage. Yeah, okay, uh, planning uh, phase. Yeah, so first one is the uh, uh, collect the requirement. Uh, all right. And then second one, you have to define the scope. Yeah, so obtain uh, the scope of the project. Okay, and then you have to uh, create the WBS. W WBS is work breakdown structure. Yeah, so I will explain uh, later on. You know what is uh, WBS? Okay, and then the second phase is the uh, monitor in the monitoring and control uh, stage yeah so it involve verify the scope and control the scope lah. so during construction you have to verify the scope and control the scope all right okay so again yeah uh, first you have to collect the requirement yeah so the process first you have to collect the requirement meaning that you collect all the information yeah and then define the scope of the project. So, uh, by example, is if the scope, uh, there are school projects, so you have to define the scope. What sort of building yeah, that you need to construct for that particular project. Yeah, by example, to uh, uh, apa, to lab, laboratory, by example. Yeah, and then uh, uh, administrator. Uh, block, yeah, classroom, yeah, uh, canteen, yeah. So you have to define what is the scope of the project. 
Okay. And then the third one is create the W uh, WBS. Yeah. So work breakdown structure. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, number four, you have to verify the scope. Yeah. During construction uh, phase. Lah, yeah. And then you have to control the scope. Make sure you follow the scope. Yeah. In order to achieve. Yeah. Uh, achieve and make sure the project is success. Lah. All right. Okay. And then after all, yeah, you have to do the lesson learned. Yeah. To make sure uh, you have the guide. Lah. Yeah, for the next project, all right? Okay, so uh, this is the uh, project scope management, lah, all right? Okay, so first one is the collect the requirement, okay? So you have to uh, create the document eh, on how the scope will be uh, defined, lah, verify and control, okay? And second one, you have to... Uh, uh, have a, a scope statement. Yeah, it, uh, the scope statement is the document used to develop and define, uh, and the uh, the common understanding of the uh, scope project. Yeah, so you have to have a scope statement. Lah, all right, so that. We uh, everybody have the same understanding on the uh, project scope. All right. Okay. And then define and documenting the stakeholder needs to meet the objective. So uh, as uh, we know, the stakeholder is the individual or group who have the interest for the project. Yeah. So not only the client, you have to. Uh, define also the um, the needs of other stakeholder like um, public yeah so you have to know what is the need of the public yeah so that the project can meet the objective lah, of the project yeah okay so uh, and then the project success is directly influenced by care taken uh, in capturing and managing project product requirement yeah so meaning uh, the care taken here is the project team lah, yeah so uh, so in order to make sure the project success yeah, the project uh, team have to capture and manage the project uh, uh, requirement lah, yeah okay and then uh, the requirement include the quantified and document needs lah, and expectation of the uh, sponsor, eh, customer or other stakeholder. Eh. So you have to make sure the requirement yeah, uh, includes the needs and expectation of the all stakeholder. Lah. For example, the client and yeah, the public. Yeah, so you have to uh, include all of their needs in your project. Okay, all right. And uh, this requirement need to obtain. Yeah, Elisite is obtain. Uh, obtain, analyze, and record in enough detail to make sure uh, uh, to be measured. Yeah, once the project uh, execution begin. Yeah. So, uh, the needs have to obtain lah, and uh, ha have to uh, be obtained yeah, and analyze and record yeah, in enough detail yeah, to be measured okay? when the project started lah, yeah, during construction. Yeah? Project execution begins meaning the uh, construction uh, 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 begin. Lah, yeah? All right. Collect requirement in defining and managing uh, the customer expectation. Lah. Yeah, so you have to collect the requirement. Yeah, uh, and uh, define and manage the customer expectation. So you have to know the client expectation lah, for that particular project. Okay, and then uh, the requirement 
become the baseline eh, of the work breakdown structure. Okay. And then the cost and schedule and also quality planning all built upon this requirement. Yeah. So when you uh, build the requirement of the project, you have to consider uh, the cost, uh, schedule and quality yeah, of the project. Okay. Okay, second one is the define the scope. Yeah. So the first one, develop detailed description of the project and product. Yeah. So you have to develop the detailed description of the project. Yeah. Okay. And then detailed project uh, scope statement is uh, critical, eh? crucial to the project success and built upon, upon the major deliverable, yeah, consumption, assumption and constraint documented during project initiation. Okay. And then define and describe the scope yeah, with greater spe uh, specificity as more information about the project is known. Yeah. Meaning that you can um, define and describe the project yeah, when you know the specific information about the project. Yeah. So uh, normally, yeah, uh, when they need to define the scope of the project, they will they will have a coordination meeting. Yeah. yeah? So that they can um, uh, define the scope together. So everybody have their input. Yes, they will call uh, the HODT, HOPT, and all the stakeholders uh, involved in the project to uh, define the scope. Yeah, so everybody will mention what is the needs of, uh, what is their needs for that particular project, and then uh, during the co during the coordination meeting, yeah, um, we call it value engineering. Yeah, so. Uh, only then they will decide and define the scope of the project. Okay. And then analyze the existing risk. Yeah. So what is the risk yeah, that involved in project management? So first one is the uh, financial. Yeah. First one is the financial. Yeah. Financial risk. Yeah. So what is financial risk? Financial risk is uh, one of them is the payment delay. Yeah. So during construction, there's the possibility that payment delay lah. Yeah, by the government, for example, if you do the project with the government, uh, or the private project, sometimes they will have the payment delay lah. Okay, and then the contractor incompetent in financial. Yeah. Meaning that sometimes the contractor didn't have the uh, capital, yeah, enough capital to run the project, yeah. So that is the uh, risk, uh, financial risk in project management, yeah. And the second one is the uh, socio uh, political risk, yeah risk all right okay so sometimes there are amendments in the government law and regulation that you have to obey yeah and uh sometimes payment failure by the government lah, yeah sometimes uh that happen yeah in the project okay and then sometimes uh, the government increase the uh, tax, yeah. So that is the uh, social political risk, lah, yeah, in the project. Okay, and that one is the environmental risk, yeah, environmental risk. Okay, so what is environment, uh, environmental risk? Yeah, sometimes there is the inclements of uh, weather condition, yeah. Sometimes, uh, yeah, as you know, Malaysia has a uh, uh, hot and uh, cool uh, weather. And, 
sometimes there's monsoon season normally at the end of the semester uh, at the end of the uh, year yeah so you cannot proceed with the construction yeah so it, that is one of the environmental risks uh. <coughs> and <coughs> uh, some uh, because of uh, the uh, the the rainy season for example so you cannot you have problem with the access accessibility to the site yeah? so sometimes they are natural disaster yeah? by example uh, uh, when you do the project there are landslide uh, occur uh, in in your construction site yeah? and sometimes there are pollution yeah so that is the environmental risk that you have to analyze yeah when you uh, do the you define the project scope okay and then number four yeah number four is the construction risk yeah yeah so construction risk uh construction related risk yeah construction related risk yeah so this one yeah uh sometimes yeah there they are design changes yeah <laughs> uh, during the construction uh, construction yeah and then um so you need time time get for the revision yeah of the drawing yeah so that that is the construction related risk lah, that you have to take into account when you define the project scope all right and then some and then so this is the uh risk lah, yeah that you have to consider when you define the uh the project scope all right and then additional risk yeah additional risk and then sometimes you need to do the assumption yeah for your project yeah okay sometimes in the design yeah, you need to do the assumption lah. Okay. and you have the constraint also yeah sometimes you have the time constraint and then you have a budget constraint for in your project so you have to analyze and consider yeah when you define the scope of the project yeah sometimes you need to have it you you need to consider yeah, the additional risk assumption and constraint yeah if necessary okay yeah. and then the uh, the project uh, scope define the boundaries of the project term in terms of what is to be undertaken. Yeah, so what is the action that you need to take lah? Yeah, you know, for your project and uh, within the environment. Yeah, so uh, what is the action that you need, you need to take? Yeah, uh, during the uh, uh, the environment. Uh, environment of your project and also the time frame of your project yeah so that is the boundaries lah, yeah when you define the uh, 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 project scope yeah so I will uh, stop here yeah I will continue with the second parts yeah to explain uh, on the next slide yeah okay so thank you so much for your attention. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.